In this third demonstration of the integration between ADF and Oracle eBusiness Suite, I'm going to show you how to use the apps data source that is part of the eBusiness Suite SDK for Java uh, to connect to the database. So within my WebLogic server, I previously defined a data source. And this data source is uh, the one that actually contains all the connection information to the eBusiness Suite database. By doing this, uh, we can uh, skip to provide the developers with the app's password. So in the node 974949.1 of my Oracle support, you can get the instructions on how to set up this data source. So from our point of view, all that we need to do is to copy the JDBC or the JNDI name of the data source and now within the model project on the application model properties we're gonna edit the configurations and then uh, we're gonna edit the, M the service local properties and select the connection times the connection type to be instead of JDBC URL we're gonna select the JDBC data source and there we're gonna paste our JNDI name for the data source so once we have that all that we need to do is to uncheck on the application properties deployment profile and we need to uncheck the auto-generate and synchronize WebLogic JDBC information because the JDBC information is already um, within the WebLogic server. Now we deploy the application into our server given that I have uh, a map it's going to ask me for deploying the connection information to the maps um, to the map server and now that it's finished I can go and test out that my application is properly working or running on my WLS So now that the application is there, let's just give it a small test. And it is pulling the information from eBusiness Suite. We can go to the deployments and notice that the application is there.